Hey guys, Amy here. Okay, so this became a really bad issue with us. We ended up getting crows and vultures coming into our duck area and eating my eggs. There's lots of things online that you can do if you have this problem. Now, what I mean by vultures, I mean by turkey vultures. Um, we're here in Central Florida. Florida is famous for the turkey vultures and they're also in other states. Um, the crows, mm, those crows, mm -mm. <laughs> they brought in the turkey vultures because they were eating my eggs and then the vultures figured it out and then I had vultures and crows eating my eggs. Well, we did a couple different things. As a homesteader, you know, I want to protect some of my food and my investment. I don't have a problem losing a couple of eggs every now and then. You know, chickens will sometimes eat their own eggs. Ducks will do it too. Um, maybe a random animal. But my problem was they were doing it every morning and they were eating them before I was able to collect. And they started getting smart. I started getting up earlier. They came out earlier. Or if I happened to not be able to get out because of a doctor's appointment or something, then they just ate it and it went on for weeks. It got so bad and I got so fed up with it. I was coming out the back door of my house here, waving the door back and forth. They go, ah, 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 you know, making all these awful sounds. The goose would start squawking. The turkey started gobbling. The ducks were like, what are you doing? And <laughs> it just got bad. So we did a couple things. Now, a lot of these things you can do with ease and safety, but because we are out in the country a little bit, we and, and for those of you that don't understand out in the country, we have to travel to the next town just to get to a Walmart. That's it. A Walmart and a Winn-Dixie and a couple of uh, fast food places, okay? but it's the next town and that's like 15 minute drive so we went ahead and we got ourselves a pellet rifle um i know a lot of people are not going to approve for that but that's okay it's not it, it's for my animal safety because if the crows and the vultures are coming out and eating stuff what is that going to stop the next predator we have raccoons, we have possums out here. Luckily, we have been, knock on wood, okay with those. They have not disturbed our food forest. They haven't um, gone after any of my animals. But we felt that we made a family decision to go ahead and get a pellet rifle. Um, I already know how to use guns. I've gone to gun ranges. I've shot several different types of guns. I'm gun safety and if it's going to protect my animals, I don't necessarily want to kill anything, but it would be enough that if it doesn't kill it, it would be like, oh crap, I'm not going around there ever again because last time it hurt. But if you're not able to purchase a gun, I got some <laughs> couple of neat tricks to show you here that also have worked better than the pellet rifle. I'll show you. Prayer flags. These I got on Amazon. They're the blank ones. They have no writing on them. And they have worked great. Uh, the one I got, it came, it was almost like a two pack, but if you string them together, it's 22 feet long. So they're 11 feet long each. So I have one strung from the pigs all the way to the duck house to cover that area. And then back there in the 
back is the uh, other one. Now, what I did was is I took some leftover white uh, support poles and I wove them into the fence to help support that. Now, with crows and vultures, they don't like movement. That's the key. I also got several of these um, glittery tree hanger things, like icicles, I guess you would call them. And I hung them in different spots all over the yard. There's one on duck house. There's two more on the other side of the duck house. And then I took some extra wire and I have some hanging just off the fence line. And there's a couple in the back back there. You can just see. This also helped. It was cheap and ineffective. And ever since I put the flags up, I have not had one crow or vulture. They have all but disappeared. They won't come anywhere near because of the flags flagging. Now, another thing we did, and I know you guys probably saw, is we cut down the pine trees that were in here. Another thing vultures and crows like are trees that they can sit close to where they want to eat and be able to watch everything. We cut down all those behind here because they were hiding in there. They were hiding in these. I had a total of three pine trees inside the duck pen. Now, they also are liking before I put the flags up, these two back here and this one right here. So eventually we will be cutting those down too. Because, like I said, if the crows are able to sit on a branch, look out, they have a, you know, they have one crow that actually is like a lookout buddy, and then the family comes in and they will then eat, and then they'll switch off. One crow will go up, be a lookout, and then that guy comes down and eats. But this, not a crow. Not one single crow. And it works great. The icicles were working okay, but if, you're, if they're not in the sun sparkling, then it's not that effective. But I'm still going to leave them up because it is getting uh, summertime and i'll get more sun over here but during the winter the sun's all over all on that side there <clears throat> excuse me so for anybody that is having problems with crows whether it's with their eating their eggs or eating their food get the flags uh, i'm gonna tell you now it'll be the best 20 25 bucks you know um, there's several different flags that you can get. I just got the blank ones. And it adds a touch of color in here, which I actually kind of like. I may start doing a lot more coloring. I also got um, pinwheels. And I'll show you those later. I'm going to stick pinwheels all along the fence. See, once I figure out how to get them on the fence line and have them stay. But it's pretty much... I don't even know if I'll have to worry about the pinwheels. Um, but, yep. There you go, guys. Easiest thing you could do for your garden or for your animals. For crows and vultures. And remember, grow something for your family.